Hi, this is just a quick SiteScope license review. Um, just want to go over the three different licenses that SiteScope has. Uh, right now we're looking at the uh, SiteScope here, general general preferences under licenses. We have the OSI license, the URL license, and the transaction license. And we're just going to take a quick look at <clears throat> the differences what these are. Uh, the OSI instance, uh, operating system instance, uh, that covers pretty much everything that you can monitor under an operating system. Uh, we'll just take a look back behind this window right here and we can see uh, monitors supported are all monitors except URL, URL content, uh, basically anything that has to do with uh, web monitors. So we can see here underneath a couple of these uh, items we have here, we have CPU, disk queue, disk space, memory, uh, paging out, ping. Um, there's a multitude of monitors that we can run against the OS uh, more than what we're showing here so really it's just a lot of your base OS monitoring that we can do. Uh, if we want to move on to a URL monitor basically what that does is it just makes sure that our URL is up. Uh, we also have the URL step monitor where we can uh, go to a website and step through it so if there's some links there we can simulate clicking on those. It's pretty basic. Um, you're not going to get the functionality out of it like you would with a ViewGen script. Uh, it doesn't handle uh, heavy Java websites very well. Um, I've had some issues with that. But if we go to the web script uh, monitor, web script or what we, what's called the um, uh, transaction monitor uh it's the transaction license but it's a web script monitor so those are the that's how those two are linked together you can see here if you're familiar with the bpm transactions that you see in apm we're seeing a, a breakdown of a lot of the same things that we would see in those bpm transactions that's because we use viewgen to create the script that's behind this monitor and so we're actually running uh, a Vuegen script behind this monitor. Now it's pretty limited to just HTML, um, none of the heavier protocols that Vuegen can handle are supported uh, running on the SiteScope platform, but it does allow us to do some websites that would have some JavaScript in there, maybe some animations, uh, so it can handle a little bit more than just the plain URL monitor. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the three different licenses are behind this.